what is up YouTube welcome back to another video uh, today is a very special one well at least for me it is I just want to be I just want to say I'm really blessed and thankful for this opportunity that was given uh, and I've been saying in my last two videos that you know uh, what I'm getting if you guys don't get the hint by now then I don't know what to tell you but I'm gonna show you guys anyways right now it's not on yet or anything but Without further ado, let's get right into it, guys. That's the company I got it from, Mint Rider. Thank you again for sponsoring me, giving me the opportunity to run your kit. It's, it's amazing. I mean, they only give me two fenders, but I'll have to buy the other two later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they only give me one side. So that's the front, front piece. If you guys haven't seen it, then. I'll post some pictures of people who had it, or who have it, or had it. That's the rear for the driver's side. Uh, nice quality. It's nice and sturdy. I don't think I'll break it for any reason. But anyways, kind of mocked it up already. So here you guys go. Bam. And I'll set my tilty wheels. It looks a lot awkward. Because look guys, look how much gapage there is. Right, let me get a better angle because you can see that. Bam! Look how much gap pitch there is. Yeah, it's just gonna go wide. I am getting new wheels. I'm not staying with these wheels. Like I said in my last video, these are already currently sold. I'm just waiting for the rest of the money so I could give it to him. But, anyways, that's another. That's a whole other story. But yeah, I kind of mocked it up. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect because, like I said, I still gotta sand a couple things down. Kind of make it fit, take that piece off. Uh, I think I might have to sand this one down a little bit to kind of make it flush. Like I said, it's not mocked up, so it's not going to be 100% how it's supposed to be. But I've seen videos on people how, how they've done it. I've seen Beast or Bill, how he did it. And he had to shave down a little bit, you know, just to get it nice and flush. And I kind of have some ideas on how to get that perfectly flush too. And then that's the front piece, like I said. But look at this, guys. It's just gonna be wide. Look, wide body with my camber, stock body with pulled fenders. I know you can tell the difference, but that's just gonna be fucking insanely wide. The banner's gonna stay on for a while. Like I said, they gave me the chance to be sponsored by them, so you know it's only right to help them out. So if you guys want to get this wide body kit, check them out. Honestly, super nice people. They really helped me out, and you know, I got to where I want to be now. No more bacon anymore. So, everyone who used to call me Bacon Fender Hector, fuck you. We're not, we're not bacon anymore. We can't bake in these. And yes, I am not gonna go tilty wheels anymore. I mean, to, I want to go more power, and more power is not gonna be able to handle, you know, being tilty on half inch fucking thread patch so yeah guys i mean hope you guys if you guys are ready to see this on i will do an install video like i said uh this is just kind of me mocking it up just to take pictures you guys will see this on instagram probably before this video is up but anyways probably post this after the video is up but mint rider will post this before so what's it called that's the kit guys it's really I don't know. I like it a lot. Like I said, ever since I saw it on Subi Jed, on Subi Jed's car and their flues, I fell in love with this kit. I honestly love like this. They say half fender type shit where you imagine just like a big ass fat tire just going straight down. Like from this angle and you see like the R triple eight and whatnot. And then a big ass fat lip on the other on the side and then oh it's gonna be so sick. I am changing the color of the car, guys. I'm not going to color match this to this color. I mean, I was thinking about it, but then I was like, you know what? This, I'm getting kind of tired of this color anyways. And, you know, I want something else, something different. So I am changing the color. Uh, I'm not going to say what yet, but I already have something in mind. Also, the 67 inch wing kind of like... Sorry for the noise, by the way, too. I never was cutting some shit. But the wing... So 67 inch. I mean, I wish it was a little wider to kind of 
match the wide body. I just kind of wanted to be like out here matching the fenders, but unfortunately you can't do that. But it is better than the 61 inch. I'm going to give you guys a better look from this angle. You can see that. Bam! Sorry for the glare in the back, but you know, that's all this camera can do. But that's going to look pretty sick. I love the bigger wing. Well, the wider wing. Thank you, Jay, for trading with me. Hope you enjoy the wing I gave you. You know, it's been ceramic coated and whatnot. But, anyways, I'm gonna ceramic coat that wing as well. I am gonna, like I said, change the wheels. They're gonna be AAPs as well, but they're gonna be wider, of course, to make it fit. I am gonna run meaty setup, so stay tuned for that. Sorry for all my stance guys out there that follow me because of my stance. I'm sorry, you know, just I'm trying to get more power, so I need I need more traction. I mean, not saying that I lose traction like this, but you know, if I up the power, I'm pretty sure I will end up fucking breaking some shit or, or fucking spinning all the time. And honestly, I don't want that shit. So, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I know, like I said, it looks tacky right now because the wheels are cambered. But I'm pretty sure if they weren't cambered, I still have like a little gap. Also, I might shave this down a little bit. Like this lip. So I get more clearance. So when I air out, when I have the fatter tires to kind of go in a little bit. Oof, this gonna look sick. I already kind of have some specs in mind on what I want to run. I'm gonna make it as flush as possible. So stay tuned, stay tuned for that video. Like I said, a lot of content coming up. You know, no more, no more bacon. Bye bacon. I was hungry, you know. I wanted some bacon, but kind of fucked up. <laughs> this one over here is miserable. You right? No? Tired of being pregnant? Yeah? It's okay. One more month. One more month. But yeah, guys. No more bacon. Bacon going bye-bye. And some meaty stands coming up my way. So, like I said, guys. Next video. Uh... You guys will see me kind of cutting my fenders and starting to mock this up. And I'll show you guys what I'm going to use for, you know, the hardware. Uh, I'm not going to do a molded. I'm going to rivet it on. But I will show you guys what to get and what I got. I am thinking about putting that little molding piece, you know, that kind of goes on here. So it fills in the gaps because I, I, know, I know it's not going to be a perfect fit. I mean, no wide body kit will be, ever be a perfect fit, which is understandable, but I'm gonna make it as much, I'm gonna make it as best I can. I mean, pretty much gonna be a wide body with a wide body. <laughs> so, alright guys, that's it for this video. Just kinda wanted, wanted to update you guys on what's coming up with this car. So, to kinda recap everything, the wide body's going on, as you can see, new wheels, new tires, new color for the car. Uh, what else? What else am I doing to it? Thinking about maybe doing the Burns Auto or the front grill piece that kind of takes rid of all that. And then maybe a splitter to kind of go a little bit wider. So it kind of matches the, what's it called, the wide body and some canards as well. Thinking about doing front and rear or maybe just front. I don't know. Comment down below what do you guys think if I should do front uh, canards. Like small ones and then little tiny ones in the rear too as well to kind of like compensates for the whole wide body so it's not looking like all like boom you know type of deal so it kind of flows with the car i want something to flow i think it made me use some side extensions kind of bring it out a little bit and then you know under the side skirt and then have a little lip to it so like i said i just wanted to flow with the kit you know because i mean if you guys look I mean, it looks sick. Don't get me wrong. It flows, but the side skirts kind of look like two pushed in, which I don't mind, like I said. But then again, it will look sick with a little side extension, a front splitter sticking out a little bit more. And then, like I said, there's some canards to kind of make it match and look sick. And then, yeah, I mean, ready for 2021 show season. Hopefully it happens. If it doesn't, then it gives me more time to maybe build the motor up some more and 
finally be able to max out the turbo and the clutch, of course. Get a new clutch. <clears throat> but yeah, guys. I mean, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to say, again, thank you to Mint Rider for giving me this opportunity to run their kit, you know. It's it's always been a, one of my dreams with this car. Uh, I never thought it would be this soon. I was always thinking about going wide body, and but I mean, and it, I think it's going to be this soon, to be honest. So, I mean, you know, just my kind of my advice for you guys is kind of take it day by day, and then you never know what life's going to hit you with good or bad you know sometimes the bad happens first and then the good but like i said end of the day just keep just keep pushing forward and then you'll get there where you want to be so without what's it called without further ado guys that's it for this video and i've been saying that like two three times already but catch you guys in the next one so subscribe comment like put the little bell notification so you guys get the notification when I'm about to upload the video when I'm installing it. So if you guys are getting it, you guys will know how to do it. And catch you guys in the next one. Peace.